What is up, guys? Pure Ice Cold here, bringing you a commentary. I actually got you a pretty long commentary today. I'm bringing you a uh, kill confirmed on Hydro. Like always, I am using the AN94. I'm using a uh, quick draw with a uh, fast mag. I swear, man, this gun has become like my favorite gun. I'm, I am using it a lot. Like I just filmed a few more uh, live commentaries for the week, and I swear I'm just loving this gun. <laughs> like I have finally unlocked the silencer and stuff, but uh, I'll get those com or those live commentaries out during the week. Um, I'm still not too sure on what I want and how I want to upload. You know, if I want to do like every single day, I kind of see that maybe being kind of hard for me, but I can give it a shot. Um, if, but if it does feel like I am just, you know, kind of stressed or pressured to release a video every single day and my content kind of becomes bad, I might just, you know, roll it back to like every other day. But um, first things first, I will figure that out, but I think right now I'm probably going to do every other day just because I don't have that many subscribers, and you guys will have a better chance of seeing my content, which is, you know, pretty big for me. So, but anyways, guys, bringing you my first commentary since I've been uh, shouted out by Serial Assassin, and I have to give Serial Assassin a huge, huge, huge thank you. Um, I did gain a few subscribers. I have been getting awesome feedback for my uh, video. I mean, I just have to give that guy a really big thank you. I mean... Um, I have been in touch. I, I, do, I did make a few friends that are, you know, my area of subscribers just kind of starting out and, you know, just helping each other out and stuff. But I just have to give him a really big thank you because, I mean, I, you know, basically my career as a YouTuber, I started, um, I can talk about my subscribers here. I do have, you know, like 180 subscribers and, you know, people are probably like, oh, why don't you have that many videos or why don't you have that many, you know, views and that kind of thing. Um, is what I did is I ended up signing up for a site. And I was like, okay, cool site. And I, you know, and I got subscribers automatically, but I was like, I don't like this because I'm not getting active subscribers. So I paid like a couple bucks and became on a VIP thing. And they had the choice of subscribing to me so they could check out my channel and then subscribe. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll actually get some active subscribers doing this. And as you can tell, I didn't get crap and I totally regret doing it and I'm hating life and I'm never doing that crap again. So really, I don't have that many active subscribers. I did just start out, and I am hating that I did that. So I really show like I have a lot, but I really, really don't, and I hate that. But yeah, so I just want to get that out there. That's why I have you know a lot of subscribers, but no, none are freaking active. But um, hopefully, I'm trying to change that. So uh, that's guy, you know, like I said, I have to give a big uh, thank you to Serial Assassin for getting me out there. It's definitely awesome actually having some sweet feedback and some people, you know, liking this videos and subscribing. It's an awesome feeling, guys. I don't know how many of you really do you know, YouTube commentaries and things like that. But I mean, when you get, you know, people subscribing and liking your YouTube video, I mean, it's just, it's awesome. I mean, it's just a really big boost in like confidence for this. And this makes you want to release stuff like crazy. But, um, yeah, my, like I said, my video is pretty long today, but I do have a lot of topics to go over and a lot of things just kind of say, I'm, I feel like I'm going to ramble a lot in this one. Cause I'm going to kind of just go with it unedited, I think. But, uh, so hopefully you guys will be like, oh, sweet, sweet commentary. He's pretty good. He doesn't really jumble around a lot. But yeah, anyways, I'm just going unedited in this video, and hopefully it's pretty good. But a uh, few topics. Huge thank you to Serial Assassin. Welcome all my new subscribers. Hopefully I keep, you know, releasing good content. And, you know, hopefully you guys just keep, you know, staying subscribed. And hopefully I just grow on this whole YouTube journey thing, which is so far so good. It's really cool. Getting a lot of awesome feedback. But uh, first things first, guys, I do want to talk about a um, new series I've been thinking about. I think I'm going to call it Pure Ice or Pure's Two Cents. I think that's what I'm going to call it. Pure's Two Cents, the title of the, you know, the title's still in working, you know, condition, I guess. But um, basically what this series is going to be is basically you guys, my subscribers, just asking me questions. My, my biggest trouble with commentaries, I love doing commentaries. I mean, live commentaries I can do. They're easy. They're fun. I love doing them. I think I, think I might take it in a competitive route every now and then too, trying to get, um, you know, com you know, commander and all that kind of stuff. But, um, anyways, my commentaries, which I really like to do, I feel like I'm really good at them. I do get an awesome feedback on my commentaries and I like, you know, I like commentating, you know, this right here, but my biggest issue is, uh, subjects, you know, topics, things like that. Those are my biggest issues when I'm commentating. And, um, I'm hopefully thinking of a new series to help me out with that, where I will be doing a commentary at least, you know, once a week. And I do commentate when I do have things to talk about and kind of blogs and kind of crap like that. But um, the new series, like I'm going to call it up, here's two cents, like I was saying. And uh, I want, I th what it's going to be is basically you guys just question me about stuff. You can ask me anything you want. And I'll basically talk about it. You know, you could be asking, you know, some advice on some things. You could be talking about, yo, Pierre, what do you think of the new Call of Duty? Which I'm going to get into in this video. So it might not be the best question to ask. You know, maybe the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, 
that kind of thing. But anyways, it's just going to be where you guys can ask me questions. And if I don't have any questions, I'm just going to kind of make my own thing. You know, like, you know, what I'm doing right now with Call of Duty Ghosts that I'll get into in this video, what I think about it. But yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm just going to call it Pierce Two Cents. So that way I do have a commentary every single week that will be coming out for sure. And I think I'm probably going to do these probably... Well, Serial does his kind of thing every Tuesday, so I don't really want to interfere with his thing. I don't know how many people watch videos daily. I think I'll probably maybe do it every Wednesday. I think Wednesday sounds pretty good. I'll probably release these every single Wednesday. Um, I am trying to think of you know some new series, some new ideas, and some constant up you know constant videos coming up. I do have my live commentaries that people seem to like, and I am getting good feedback on those too. But uh, yeah, definitely want to do commentaries in the works, and you know whatever else. I mean, if you guys have any feedback, I mean. That would be much appreciated, honestly. Like, if you guys have feedback, something you want to see me do that or something that has worked awesome for a past YouTuber, you know, who's pretty big now or, you know, who didn't really stick with it and it seemed and you really liked it and thought it was cool, I mean, let me know what that is. I mean, definitely, because, I mean, that's my biggest issue is just trying to think of, you know, episodes or a series kind of thing. But, um, you know, enough of that. I guess I can kind of get into uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, guys. I have been doing my research on it. But, um, okay, here's my thing with Call of Duty. Um, for those of you that haven't added me on Xbox Live, definitely add me. I mean, I'm down to play with anybody, and we'll do live comms together and stuff. That would be pretty cool. But anyways, back to Ghosts. Um, for me, I've had Xbox Live for eight years, guys. That's right. I've had Xbox Live for eight years. Feel free to add me and totally check it out. Eight years. It's turning nine next month. So it's going to be turning nine in late July here. And uh, that's going to be pretty cool. But anyways, I've had Xbox Live for eight years. And I have played every single Call of Duty since, you know, that have been put on Xbox. Since when Xbox launched with Call of Duty 2, you know, to Call of Duty 3, to Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, which pretty much revolutionized this whole, what we call gaming now. Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare is what basically put on the path with Halo. I mean, Halo, I think it was Halo 3 that was dropping when Call of Duty 4 dropped. And no one really knew about Call of Duty. I mean, they, they, those were like the big things. I mean, like Halo 3 at that time had all the hype. They had everything a hype, and I was playing Call of Duty 4 when it was in beta. I mean, it was in beta, and I was freaking playing the beta of that Dan King. That's how far back I go. Playing the beta for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. Right? So, but that's what I've been saying. I was saying that all along through everything. I was like, Halo is more hype, but Call of Duty is a better game. At that time, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, was without a doubt, was my favorite Call of Duty and still is. I mean, I lo I'm loving Black Ops. I love how everything's getting changed. But that was my big, you know, that was my favorite Call of Duty. And if all the old Call of Duty people probably say the same thing. Because it had three kill streaks. You had a UAV, you had a sentry turret, and you had a attack helicopter. No, I don't think you had a sentry turret. I think you had UAV, airstrike, and uh, attack helicopter. Apologize for that. But I'm pretty sure those were the kill streaks. And that was just awesome. But uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, you know, made was made by the Modern Warfare guys, and I feel like they just changed it a ton. I mean, like they went from this awesome game, Call of Duty 4, to Modern Warfare 2, which was a huge difference. Which I think really wasn't that great. Modern Warfare sucked. I mean, I'm sorry, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 were complete garbage. I hated them. Black Ops came around, and it was awesome. I was like, thank you. It's a lot more mellow. It's a lot more steady paced. I dislike Black Ops a whole lot more, but um, seeing how Ghost is being made by the Mono Warfare guys, I mean, I'm I'm kind of skeptical of getting it. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna get it obviously, but I'm kind of skeptical of what I'm how what I'm gonna really think about it. I've been doing my research on it, and it seems really cool. I mean, I'm liking how the in the integration with you know you can lean around corners. There's new guns. I like the futuristic stuff, and the and the weapons are still modern, so you're not shooting like you know, hate like a Halo thing here, you know, you shoot needlers or some crap at each other. I like how it's still modern weapons. I like all that kind of stuff. But, um, everything I've been reading about it so far is so good, which is really surprising to me because I was thinking it was going to be, you know, a the Modern Warfare 4 where they didn't really change crap and just put new skins and new maps in the game and kept, kept the same stuff. But, I mean, it's coming off of a new engine with the new consoles and it's got, you know, it just got room to actually change a whole bunch of stuff. So hopefully I take great advantage of that and I'm pretty excited for it. And I'm definitely going to be picking that up at midnight. It, it's good launching. I want to say it's launching uh, November 9th. That's what, um, that's what I looked at. It was November 9th. It's going to be launching. So I'm hoping the new Xbox is coming out in October. But I also heard a rumor that the new Xbox could be, re like, could be launching as early as September. I mean, how crazy would that be? E3, a couple months, boom, you got the new Xbox. But I'm, That's what I've heard rumors is it could drop as early as September. But more realistically, it's going to drop around October with the uh, Call of Duty 
the new Call of Duty coming out, you know, a little bit after that. But uh, yeah, guys, video's wrapping up here. I just want to get that out there. Thank you, Serial Assassin. Welcome all my new subscribers. Hope you're enjoying the content. If you have any feedback, any ideas, definitely let me know. I'll definitely, you know, talk to you guys. I'm definitely really interactive with my subscribers. So if you have anything to say, say it, and I'll definitely get back to you. But uh, yep, yeah, gameplay's wrapping up here. But uh, yeah, guys, new new series, and this is gonna be it. Probably about every single Wednesday. Anyways, till next time, guys. Later.